Hey everyone, it's time to Nephis and Chill. In this video, I want to talk about my experience in PAX Day's Alpha Playtest. For those of you not familiar with PAX Day, it's another MMORPG that a lot of people have been looking forward to, as it promises collaborative and meaningful group play in what at first seems to be a normal world. PAX Day is described as a player-driven social sandbox MMO, where basically 99% of everything you'll see will be the products of player communities. The developers are quite passionate if you watch the development videos or the gameplay footage published by Mainframe Industries, and I highly recommend watching the footage if you haven't. Now I'm going to talk about my impressions and thoughts about the PAX Day Alpha. First off, starting with the launcher, it's clean, it's simple, I like it compared to uh, other game launchers in the past. Uh, the server structure was pretty straightforward, it's just choosing your region, like US East, US West, then you choose the world, and then uh, you choose the province in that world in which you spawn in, and each world is basically a map, the world map. Um, first thing you basically notice, loading into PAX Day are the graphics and the aesthetics. It's very, very well done. Uh, the game is built on Unreal Engine 5, and the graphics are just really, not just like pretty, but the way the developers have made the lighting, it's awesome. Just coming out towards a cavern entrance, for example, where you see the light spill into the dark cave, it's almost blinding. When the sunrise comes up, or when the sun goes down during the sunset, it's quite majestic. And the views that you can get uh, if you want to build on mountaintops or mountainsides, uh, it's just breathtaking, uh, depending on the region you're in. Uh, but yeah, the graphics will be the biggest plus for PAX Day. It's enjoyable to look at. It's very pleasing to the eye. Uh, now, with that said, there are, of course, some jankiness because this is an alpha. I didn't really go in expecting too much because, well, it's alpha. Um, and sounds were a bit off. The footsteps were not synchronized with the footsteps of your character most of the time. Uh, if your character interacted with something like a stone, you would hear that stone kind of clatter on the ground, maybe like nine to ten seconds later the sounds of combat which is a big thing and i'll kind of touch more on the combat system here in a bit was were also kind of just kind of meh combat now it, it is a bit off at first you kind of start out with a axe uh pointy stick you know the things you can kind of craft to basically do a essential survivalist uh kind of way of living in the world of pax day and it's noticeable as you progress with the better weapons that the weapons basically determine the animations and different styles of fighting. And uh, there's a big difference in the feeling of the combat, say, for example, between a pointy stick made of wood and an iron pike. Uh, you, you just notice immediately the impact of, well, I went from this pointy stick to iron pike. My character is doing much more fluid animation. It, they, they, it looks good. It feels a bit better. And I'd expect that as you know, players keep progressing into the higher tiers of armor and weaponry. And of course, there are spell slots too, um, which I did not get to, unfortunately. I don't think anyone did. If I am uh, correcting this or incorrecting this, let me know. But yeah, it's combat, kind of janky at first. And a lot of the hostile creatures you meet are wildlife. Um, with some of it doesn't make sense. For example, like foxes attacking you out of nowhere. Um, badgers do attack you, which I, I, under, under, understandable. Bears will try to attack you. Wild hogs or boars will try to attack you. Wolves will try to attack you. I did see a sort of monster lurking in the darkness of a cave. It, it was called a growler or something. I'm not sure what exactly it was. I was like, couldn't take a look at it. But there are, I'm pretty sure, sort of like uh fantasy creatures somewhere some about uh if i do remember correctly too they're supposed to be there especially in the wildlands which are kind of the end game zone or collaborative exploration area when once you and your uh group members or community members basically gear up uh to explore for so with that being said as it is alpha i think i felt that a lot of the focus for this play test was more on the crafting system like the combat was very rough uh, the sound, the audio design was a bit off. The music, don't get me wrong, the music was very, very nice, actually. It's very calming. Uh, that's one thing that really caught me off guard about PAX Day. I expected um, to be a bit more, I guess, uh, ha have a little bit more action. But since because they want players to completely control the sandbox um, world, uh, from economy to housing, uh, but it it's a very cozy game. I think that's the best word I can use to describe Pax Day in one word, if, if I had to choose one word. It's very, very cozy. Like, you could probably spend hours and hours just building, uh, gathering materials, crafting, chopping wood, uh, picking up stones, or picking up clay, 
although the gathering system itself is a bit janky too, uh, particularly if you're just picking things up by hand, uh, the targeting seems a little off. Um, but yeah, now that we've kind of talked about a little bit of that, I want to, I do want to kind of delve into crafting because that was probably like 90% of my gameplay. Crafting for sure, uh, in PAX Day is not meant, uh, strictly for a solo player experience when what that means is you're gonna have a really hard time kind of crafting gathering processing all kinds of materials by yourself building by yourself is it possible yes it's absolutely possible it's just gonna take a lot longer than if you were in a group of five people or two people um this is a very you can see from the systems once you engage with the crafting and the material gathering in the actual you know wait times um and that's another thing that there are wait times to process for example charcoal or iron um it's a very collaborative system you have to uh work with people you have to work with others around you or you have to join a community if you want to have a much faster pacing in pax day uh of course not a lot of people like that because in the mmo genre for whatever reason due to perhaps real life or time constraints a lot of people prefer to play solo but even if you do play solo i think it will be a nice experience for the most part but much slower um and uh probably a, li a little less fun because the systems i feel like in pack stay definitely emphasize the need to work together to basically help each other armor up and to share recipes by sharing materials and once you pick up the materials you learn how to make things associated with that material uh so yeah there's there's just a lot of emphasis on teamwork group play and i like that i really do uh, the game seems to know what it kind of wants. Uh, the housing could use a little bit of work in terms of um, snap adjustments and just the build editing. Uh, overall, on its own, it's fine. There were a couple minor visual issues or actual gameplay issues with the crafting. Uh, for example, if I built a foundation on top of a, you know, uh, some trees uh, after chopping those trees down those trees would just kind of respawn and poke through the floor of the house so that's 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 a little off-putting but it's very very minor i'm sure that can be ironed out uh after the alpha play test uh feedback is gathered um kind of back to crafting again because it's just kind of all overlapping with these systems crafting th there are definitely some user experience and ui issues um i feel like the quality of life could be kind of uh, hammered out in the in the crafting system for example while you can, while it is uh based on a uh, failure or success uh system of you know crafting things after you've learned to craft a certain piece for a while and you've get gained enough levels or experience in that crafting profession whether it's wine wine uh making or uh you know carpentry uh there there's only really two options to craft things for example you can only craft one thing at a time or you can sort of afk auto craft everything um of that one thing you want to make with all the materials available to make that thing and i feel like it could be it could be some sort of like middle ground there like maybe you know determine how many you want to make rather than stepping away and coming back uh, or not knowing exactly when you're going to be done uh, making everything so there, there's a lot of quality of life improvements to be made um in terms of the crafting itself as well gathering too again if you it really depends if you're going to be playing by yourself or with others because at a certain point it can become tedious or a bit boring especially with other play with, well without other people uh luckily i also chanced upon a community that was very helpful so that definitely eased things along and it was very uh shocking after playing alone for like the first 10 hours to see how much uh i could get accomplished with just like two or three others around me um sharing their materials and items and uh that's really it in terms of the systems really combat crafting um traveling and of course retrieving your body i'm not sure if that's gonna exactly be in the uh more polished versions of the game but there are definitely some issues with traversing certain terrain uh but you use your stamina bar or you use your stamina to kind of travel gameplay wise and exploration wise uh again it, it can get a little tedious um but again you you're kind of traveling all over on foot so that's sort of expected there is no mount system there is no uh, fast travel system except to basically travel to a nearby waystone um if you're near a waystone of course if you're between two waystones of at an equal distance, roughly on the map, then you don't know which waystone you port to. So I think the travel system could definitely be polished as well in Pax Day, um, or maybe that's just something that's uh, intended by the developers. If 
it's if they don't want people to travel willy nilly by clicking on the maps, waystone icons, uh, kind of like in the Elder Scrolls Online or other games. Uh, but other than that, uh, it, it felt like they had a foundation of in-game lore. Uh, from what I know, they are very adamant on not adding NPCs or quest givers to Pax Day, so that might be off-putting for a lot of people who are from you know, who are very accustomed to that MMO format. Um, but I think it could work a bit better in Pax Day without NPCs because it feels like they have a foundation for lore. It's just that there wasn't much of the lore details um, in Pax Day. And a lot of the, again, a lot of the emphasis was on the crafting system itself, more than combat, more than clan, more than the clan system, and so on. One thing too I want to talk about is an inventory management, because that is going to be a big factor in a lot of people's consideration of Pax Day, since it is a sandbox slash crafting uh, MMO. And it's nice to see that they did not opt for a weight-based uh, inventory capacity system. I think that's a very risky thing to do in any game, really, um, especially even for a game like Pax Day. So I'm glad they didn't do that. You basically have number stacks. You don't have any way uh, penalties. Uh, you basically just need to fill up as much as you can, uh, depending on what you're doing, and then go back to your base. And the base is composed of two plots or two plots of land you can combine or kind of establish control of over the land. So there, that's another thing. And I, I don't think they should increase the... Uh, maximum capacity of plots players could claim because I cannot imagine unlimited plot claims or players claiming basically every piece of the land before others can get the chance to. So yeah, um, inventory, it's okay. The inventory management definitely gets more hectic the more you craft by yourself because you have to like organize things in various chests. It's kind of like a really weird blend between um, Minecraft and just, I feel like, some other crafting games that have done similar things like Valheim. So th there, there's some of that. Um, end game wise, I again could, couldn't have enough time on the alpha play test. Couldn't get to the wildlands. Couldn't get to the, the highest tier of armor weapons. It's a lot. Again, a lot of it was on crafting. And I'm hoping to see some more improvements on the base systems before they release early access. However, the developers have stated that the early access for Pax Day will be sometime this spring, which is a little concerning because again. It, it's it's pretty jangy, it's pretty rough already, and I'm not sure how much they can polish before another, I mean, it, it's almost summer, so is it May or is it early June? We'll see. It'll be interesting to see how much they'll change based on player feedback from the second alpha playtest. I do worry that the combat system may not be as polished when it comes out, but who knows, and of course, in terms of monetization, as that is a big thing to consider when thinking of investing precious time into an MMO, Pax Day developers have stated that the monetization will take the form of a single purchase, granting access to the game for the full duration of early access, although they did mention multiple offers, which denote a possibility of multiple price tiers. Um, as for how long this game will remain in early access, who knows, but I definitely think the game has a lot of potential should it continue expanding a bit more on the in-game lore, a lot more in combat, and the existing systems of housing and crafting. But that's basically it. That was my uh, kind of impressions and thoughts after my playtesting in the alpha for Pax Day. Definitely something to keep an eye on. I'm not sure if it's gonna like shake the foundations of the MMO world, but yeah, we'll see. Thanks for watching.